Live from the studios of Penn Trafford High School, your DMAC award-winning best morning announcements. This is Wake Up Warriors with Emma Puchek and Maddie Haberberger. We'll take a look at Punxsutawney Phil's prediction and last night's swim meet. This is Wake Up Warriors. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Friday, February 2nd, Groundhog's Day. I'm Emma. And I'm Maddie. Today is Groundhog Day. Earlier, Punxsutawney Phil awoke to predict if we will have six more weeks of winter or if spring will come early this year. With more information, here is Jake Schick, followed by this year's prediction. Ladies and gentlemen, Punxsutawney Phil. Ah, uh, yes. Groundhog Day. We've all heard of it. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. But if you haven't, I'd like to let you know that over 20,000 people show up in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania every year to watch a groundhog try to find its shadow. The Pennsylvania Dutch states, when Phil emerges from its burrow on this day and sees a shadow due to clear weather, it will retreat to its den and winter will persist for six more weeks. And if it does not, due to cloudiness, spring season will arrive early. But how and why has all this evolved to be this big of a national event? During the Middle Ages, Europeans relied on the shadows of hibernating animals as an indication of incoming weather. During the 17 and 1800s, German immigrants brought this belief to the United States that the groundhog was the first animal chosen in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania for the celebration of Groundhog Day. The Groundhog Club says that Phil is right up to 90% of the time, while studies have shown the number is actually closer to 40%. So what do you think? Will Phil see his shadow? Reporting for PTTV, this is Jake Schick. Phil, the Sheriff Sears prognosticator of all prognosticators, was awakened at sunrise from his burrow by the cheers of his thousands of faithful followers. In Groundhog Ease, he directed the president of the inner circle to his prognostication scroll. Up early this morning, far from home, are you searching for the Philosopher's Stone? Well, even my best friends, they don't know. Is it an early spring? Just more snow. <clears throat> my faithful followers, your hands and my paws are getting cold. So here is my forecast, not lead but solid gold. I see my royal shadow, six more weeks of winter to go. The SATs will be offered at Penn Trafford on Saturday, March 10th. Register online at sat.org by February 9th. If you have any interest in attending Votech next year, there will be a field trip to tour the school on Tuesday. In order to attend, either pick up a permission form from the counseling office or freshmen can get them from their biology teachers. Forms must be returned with a parent signature today. Attention all prospective 2018-2019 AP Studio Arts students. Please make efforts to have your letters of recommendation returned to Ms. Crystalite by today. Your timely action is extremely important to ensure that the class goes on. Sorry about that, we're having some technical difficulties. Ryan Dancic is an attorney working at the MDDC Law Office in Harrison City. He was born and raised in North Huntington and received his Juris Doctorate from Duquesne University. He will be speaking during fourth period on Wednesday. Sign up on the Google form you were emailed. The sign up forms closes on Monday. PT Ski and Board is hitting the slopes again today. Come out and join us, the conditions will be awesome. Sign up with Senora Birch or Senor Flynn immediately because the bus fills up fast. Now let's go to Zach with the weekend's weather. It is currently 11 degrees with a light flurries. The high for today will be 25 and the low will be 12 with it being cloudy for the rest of the day. Tomorrow the high will be in the low 30s and the low will be 
in the upper 20s with a 50% chance of snow tomorrow night. On Sunday, the high will be 37, and the low will be 18 degrees with 90% chance of snow all day. Have a nice weekend, guys. Let's go back to the desk. Prom season is swiftly approaching. To help raise money for the dance, Morp is back. Morp will be Friday, February 23rd. Tickets, which are only $10, will go on sale starting Monday and run through the 16th during all lunches. Outside guest forms are available in the main office and in room 129. See Mr. Moses with any questions. Anyone interested in being a part of the paint crew for the Drama Guild's production of Grease we will be priming the sets on Tuesday right after school. Please bring paint clothes and be ready to work until 5. Now let's go to Reagan Hawkwin with your daily sports report. Both girls and boys waterworks teams won last night in a section match against Connellsville, beating them 91-83 and 88-56, respectfully. The girls' team record is now 7-2, and the boys' record is 9-0. In their next two matches, the teams will face off against Shaler and Latrobe. Last night, Warrior Rifle won their last regular rifle match against Indiana with a score of 788 to 785. Sam Factor led the team with a score of 99 to 8x. This win and the team qualified for the playoff match in Butler today. Good luck to the team. The boys are holding a tournament tomorrow in the gyms. The tournament starts at 9. Come by and wish them luck. The club will be selling red carnations until February 12th in the cafeteria during all lunches for Valentine's Day. The cost is $2 per flower and they will be delivered during homeroom on Valentine's Day. On Thursday at Burrell High School, the Spectrum game design team won second place in a competition where they had to design a board game in two hours. The team consisted of Marcus Perovich, Gabe Delisi, Travis Barkafelt, Sahit Sudati, Ryan Moorhead, and Alex Worko. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I'm Emma. And I'm Maddie. Have a great day, Pentrafford.